A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Blitz built an X-Wing and was unsuccessful in getting it to the moon. Go to the moon! You can do it! I have giant faith in you. Okay, oh. That's where we come along and do it better than he did. So obvious first step, build the X-Wing. This seems like the best cockpit to start with. It's not very big, so... I'm worried about how much fuel we'll be able to strap onto this, but we'll build the shape first. And this will be easiest if we just use lots of empty things like cargo bays, since this is only a quarter of a ton, but that's honestly a little long for my liking. So we'll just use a bunch of these smaller segments. That's more like it. Then we'll put a nose cone on there. And now the back bit. It's a different shape entirely. So what can we use? This adapter seems like it's the right size. Well, maybe not size, but shape. Yeah, I can work with this. And then we just take some fuel canisters like this. It's honestly impressive how well this is working. And then if we take an engine pad, we can hopefully cover this up. Just get nice and centered like that. Yeah. If only we could manually adjust the size of these things. That works so good. But that works pretty good right now. Now we need the wings. Before we put those on, let's strap this down so it's nice and stable. And then we come in here with panels that we can hopefully strap on here. Uh, maybe one at a time. Oh, yes. Something like that. And then we slide you down like this, which evens all those out. Oh, that's perfect. Beautiful. And now we can come in here and strap some wings on. It's gonna be just a little bit weird. Also, these are way too big. And those are way too small, so we'll just make this work. It's really weird how these just rotate around one point on the panel it's like woo but that seems to be the best place to put it except these are upside down or maybe they aren't i don't know wings are still weird in this game in any case the root length needs to be lowered the angle needs to be straightened out wingspan reduced oh i'm liking the promise of this but why <laughs> um they're a little off kilter. Now, I'm not sure I'll be able to use these wings in the open position. Or maybe I can. If I just take these and then move them like so. And then rotate them down like this. Okay. Okay, this is working. Though the span might need to be a little bigger. That looks like a much better size for the wings. Except I wish there was a way to flip these wings. So that they're not just orbiting around the middle like this. How does that affect aerodynamics? Okay, it's still going up. That's good. And then let's see. There's air intakes. So we just do some below like this. Okay, and then there's a little shooty bits on the edge of the wings. So we'll need smaller things for that. Only problem is there's not a lot of things that get to that size. Actually, this could be good. We just get a few of these in sequence. Hopefully they're not too heavy, both above and below. I gotta tell you, seeing how accurate this is starting to look is very satisfying. At least the back half. I don't know what's going on up at the front. Um, Maybe some antennas would work. I just take you and go, <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, look at that. Definitely not. Maybe just a couple beams. That kind of works. It's weird, but it works. Okay, now the thrusters in the back. Not too sure how I'm gonna do these. Okay, looking at a picture that shows the back of it, it looks like they're attached to the... Whatever these would be. So we need to get them on the intakes. And they're kind of about the same size as the other things. So that it still kind of works right there. So something of this size would still work here. I just wonder if Methalox is the best fuel. Their Xenon is made for use with ion engines. And those are right here. Huh. They don't give a whole lot of thrust, even in a vacuum. But it says it's amazingly efficient and has a blue glow. So I might as well just see what it does. Also, that is way too big. We'll just get some of these stacked together. And then we can put these on. Okay, okay, I like the promise of this. And then for landing gear, I hope we can get one of the retractable wheels. So one of you like that. Shouldn't be too bad. They'll point it up a little bit, which is kind of ideal, actually. I don't want these beams strutting into the ground. But then we also need something for this to actually take off. I think those are Methalox tanks in there. Yeah. So a little bit of a deviation from design is we strap a separator onto here like this. Also, I just looked at it from a different side and I don't know what I was thinking. This is not big enough. We need to go at least that big. And that's actually kind of even right there. But back to what we were doing. We need something with a lot of thrust in atmosphere in the medium size. So this one. Not sure how much that's going to give us. We just need to get this thing out of atmosphere so the ion thrusters can kick in so let's try it and okay whoop um we lost the pack landing gear this might be a problem it also says there is no fuel not sure i believe that okay i guess i believe that but then that will detach and then we throw these in Ooh. oh wow those okay these things take a lot of electric charge which just disappeared instantly right learning a lot of new things right now although there is this generator and you give 
50 a second. So we just take off the nose piece. And then we slap this on there. Okay. And it also shifts the weight to the front, I believe. Yeah. But actually not too far back because the thruster is so super heavy. So maybe this thing is not the right size. Maybe if I just flip around this engine plate to the back. I feel like the fairing might have gotten in the way of the feed happening properly. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so the fairing was getting in the way. And that also looks a lot cleaner. So we can definitely get away with that. Okay, I've been plugging away at this for a little bit. And I might have gone over board with some things. I needed a ton more fins just to get the center lift behind the center mass. And I'm thinking right now that is really not necessary because really once this thing gets in the space, it won't matter. So what we do instead is drop this thing to a rocket and just simply have the X-Wing as a nose cone, which just means that we use the absolute big rocket. What I'm really hoping we can get away with is just having a big engine mount and then just a ton of these boosters. As long as we can just slide them into place. Oh, we can't. If we had just a ton of these ones, then that gives us enough lift. So we'll hold this off to the side and then see what we can do about fuel while preserving weight. Uh, <laughs> that kind of works, but these got shifted around weird. So now we'll set this to the launch pad and then this should hopefully get us to space. Provided we have enough fuel. Let's, okay, that's accelerating very fast. I think we'll have enough fuel. Uh oh, as long as you stay upright. Uh-huh, well, our X-Wing is currently going starship mode right back to launch. home. Oh, and the buildings exist now. Cool. I guess we'll just need to put some stabilizers on this. So one that I had to counteract the spinning was if we put a fairing on here, as long as we can get the wings out of the equation, I think this will fly a lot better. Then we go up over them. Then we start to narrow it off so it looks something like a nose cone. That <laughs> That's kind of weird, but it should work. But I don't really want the fairing to be permanently on here, so we need to reorganize this. So we get the separate on there and then we put on the fairing. Also, I feel like this shape is a lot more aerodynamic. And if this can fly, then I don't know what else could. So then we shall launch. So if this works, all we need to do is get more fuel. So let's see how it do. Okay, it's actually staying straight a lot longer this time. I think we got it. Good, I didn't want to spend too much time trying to counteract the spin. So let's tilt this thing, get better orbit thingies going. Okay, it's working a lot better. Well, that's done now. So then if we separate here, ooh, that was clean. And then the fairing falls straight to the earth. Okay, so then we have a smaller thruster that we can use right now. Ooh, we have an X-Wing going to space. And that's gonna burn for a long time. I love this. Just want you to even out. Like so. Oh, this is amazing. X-Wing is leaving the atmosphere. How are we looking though? Okay, it's still kind of low, but now that we're in space, those smaller ion things should work good for us. Speaking of, let's put in some RCS and then turn on this reactor so we can start getting some energy flow to fuel those little things. And we're also about to run out of oxygenator a lot faster than we're gonna run out of fuel. Ooh, but that orbit is climbing. All right, 83,000 meters is pretty good for that. Where's the moon? There it is. We can set you for target. Pose and I create maneuver. Oh, this is different looking. Burn more for that. Okay, not enough fuel there. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. So then we put on the ion thrusters. Ooh, those sounds cool. And look at that burn effect. That's so awesome. Awesome. It still drains energy, but if we turn these off, then we get the energy back. So that's good for us. We don't get a whole lot of speed for it though. And we also can't burn for super long at a time before the reactor gives out. So I wonder what these are supposed to even be for if not to propel a space shell. I know it said they don't give a lot of thrust, but I still expected more from this. I will say though, we have a good recipe for going to the moon. We just need a couple of boosters on here. Could you not? I want you to attach to, okay, you know what? Um, Sure, I'll just rotate all of you around like this, scoot you down, and then uh, maybe uh, around like so. There we go, that looks a lot cleaner. And then do some classic strut maneuvers here. Very good. This should give a lot of boost so we can get a lot of airtime before kicking off everything else. Okay, it's a little slower, but boosters are good for a long time. At least it's slower on initial takeoff. Now we're getting a lot more speed. And then, oh, tilting and not the way I wanted to, ah! Uh oh uh-oh, big uh-oh, big uh-oh, ooh, ooh, okay, it's coming back, it's coming back, going south, not the way I want, go this way, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, it's going straight now, let's lock you and tilt you, so you can start going this way more, more, more please, more please, more please, boosters are about to give out, okay, 
Let's separate those. Uh oh. Uh, should have put separatrons on there. Oh, don't hit it. Ah. Okay. Now we. Oh, not good. Not good. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Oh no 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 no. Spinning too much. Okay, let's cut you. Let's turn on the RCS. I keep forgetting I have that. This is very sketchy. Maybe a little bit of boost just so it can orient. Okay, looking good. Correct a little more. Yep, and then full. Okay, that saved it. That definitely saved it. Yes. I would like you to go a little bit up though. You're way too flat. Right there. Right there right there. I think this is working a lot better for us. Ooh, yes it is. Okay, let's cut this. We'll let RCS get us pointed in the right direction. And if we do some maneuvers here, how much do we need to intercept the moon? Oh, okay. If we go right there, then that'll get us really close to the, to the moon. And then we can slow down. I just hope we have that. Okay, they'll go into the second stage. So I think we do. It's just gonna be a little tricky because it's past the apoapsis. We're also going to the dark side of the planet. Actually, before I do that, that's going like that. So if I do you down like this. Okay, that's doing some weird things there. And a little more like so. Not too sure what I'm trying to get at here. We got some weird trajectory planning happening. That moon is just really gonna slingshot us, it looks like. But let's try to save as much fuel as possible. We still have time before the burn so we can plan this out better. And I think that's the best plan we're gonna get. And burn, all right, and then separate. There we go, that works pretty good. And we are zooming away. We still only have like half the oxidizing power and the thruster, but at least it's creating the trajectory that we want pretty nicely. And then once we get into moon influence, we can cut the brakes, or I mean, put on the brakes. And whoa, okay, perfect. How are we looking? Pretty good. And we still have some fuel left in this one. Excellent. So let's see, we enter influence over here. So to get captured by the moon, we would need that, which we have. Ooh, wait a minute, focus. Oh, <gasps> that's a collision. Blitz never made it to the moon. So if I did this, I would win. Ooh, we could get captured by the moon, but I really wanna get the X-Wing all the way to the moon. And that's about how much fuel we have. Okay, so we'd still be able to see that. I can work with this. I guess these little ion thrusters are more of flavor than anything. They're probably meant for like deep space probes or whatever, but they don't do me a lot of good here. So we'll just orient the way that we want to. And then all Valentina has to do is wait. She looks really excited too. I kind of just want to watch the moon get closer, which it most definitely is. Look at that. And now we're inside the moon's sphere of influence. Also, just look at that view. It's amazing. This feels like something you'd see in one of those like 40th anniversary merchandise things, except that wouldn't be a moon, it'd be a space station. So then we just get a little closer. All right, 25 seconds to burn. I wonder if activating those ion thrusters would even help. Probably not. In any case, we have a solid plan. I don't want to mess with it. So we burn. Five, four. Okay, uh, we ran out of fuel there. No, we're not quite going to make it. Okay, you know what? Let's just activate these and see what they do. Ooh. They are helping. Excellent. Then maybe if I create a new maneuver, I can use the ion things to get into a better landing spot. And when I say a better landing spot, I mean something you can actually see. That is a long burn though. But smack dab in that crater should be good. So let's just fast forward to the point. And the X-Wing is small enough that we don't need RCS to turn it. I just love how this thing looks too. Really impressed by how close we can get this thing to looking like an X-Wing. But now it's time to burn. So we do that and just admire how good it looks. What the? Oh. I forgot the reactor. Uh, quick, turn it on. Okay, wait for that to build back. Maybe rotate you slightly so you just look better while you do it. This maneuver only requires 81 delta V and we have 9,000 in here. These things are definitely meant for like deep space or something like that. Anyway, let's try this again. And then we can just watch this thing scoot into place. And then once the energy stores run out then we turn them off and then it builds back. I'm kind of surprised these things overrun that big reactor we have. But it seems like I'm gonna be playing this game for a little bit. Thankfully, I can speed up time so I don't have to sit here forever. And, uh, nope. what just happened? Um, I, uh, I thought I could speed up time while the thruster was going. <laughs> <laughs> and I just gave Valentina that many G's. I just went to two times speed. Okay. Someone needs to put in the commas for me on that because I cannot read numbers that big. Also, about this reactor, I didn't realize I could up, uh, change the conversion rate. Can I just boost this? It looks like I can and nothing really changes for it. I guess when this game adds heat, that would be a problem. But right now, it really isn't for us. So that just means we can get the fuel back sooner. Oh, it's burning up uranium. So then how do I know how much uranium I have? That's not exactly something that shows up in the vessel resources. And maybe if this thing has a higher conversion rate, I don't need to... Ooh, good. They stay constantly on. 
Excellent. Man, X-Wings take a lot of fuel. It's paying off though. The landing zone is moving. But now I guess I have to let this run for 45 minutes. Gross. At least I get to admire how sweet this X-Wing looks. Definitely looks a lot more like one than Blitz's. I'll tell you that much. Okay, no, this thing says 13 minutes left, but I really don't want to wait anymore. So we're going to cut the power and we land where we do. So let's get this thing pointed pro grade and just wait for the landing, which will end up being a lot sooner because we can actually speed up time now. It really won't end up being a clean landing, but hey, we made it to the moon and Blitz didn't. So I'm okay with this. I'm also not sure the different approach thingies are supposed to be counting up instead of down. But what do I care? I'm just focused on getting to the moon. Okay, this is looking like a really good approach. Not gonna lie. Kind of just want to see what happens if we even out here and then activate the thrusters again. We're not gonna change trajectory too much, but I'm still curious. And that is a very sharp angle to land at. Maybe I should have tried taking this thing to lathe because then it'd be like Luke crashing down on Dagobah. And then maybe Valentina could learn the force at that point. If I didn't know what the end result was gonna be, I'd say this is a very satisfying looking landing. And really no thing that we do will slow us down at all. So... I think we can safely say that we sent an X-Wing to the moon and the X-Wing looks amazing while doing it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what else you want to see and subdue intern. Oh. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.